Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation. So before we get started, let's focus on the denominators. Let's focus on the very first fraction at the denominator. As we can see in this 5x minus 5, 5 is in common so that could be factored out so i can write this one on the top it's going to stay same 3x minus 5 and at the denominator i can f easily factor out 5 so we end up with x minus 1 inside this parentheses likewise in this second fraction at the denominator 7 could be easily factored out so i can write plus 5x minus 1 on the top is going to stay same and at the denominator I can factor out 7 and we have x minus 1 in the denominator and let's look at on this denominator third fraction 1 minus x and we can write this thing 1 over x minus 4 is going to stay on the top and 1 minus x if I could factor out negative sign this could be written as x minus 1 equals to we're going to have a 2 on the right hand side and in our next step we are going to leave this fraction as it is for now 3x minus 5 divided by x minus 1 plus this fraction 5x minus 1 over 7 times x minus 1 same as it is and here as we can see that this negative and negative signs when they multiply that's going to give us positive sign so i can write plus x minus 4 divided by x minus 1 equals to 2 and here this step is really crucial just pay attention at the denominators as we can see we got a constant 5 over here and constant 7 i am going to write down 5 times 7 times then we are going to look at these factors x minus 1 showing up once it is showing up once again and it is showing up three times so we are going to write it just once just keep in your mind so therefore our least common denominator or sometimes we call it least common multiple turns out to be 7 times 5 is 35 times x minus 1 and now we are going to multiply this 35 times x minus 1 this least common denominator across the board with this equation let's go ahead and multiply 35 times x minus 1 with the first fraction 35 times x minus 1 with the second fraction 35 times x minus 1 with the third fraction and likewise 35 times x minus 1 to the right hand side as well and now as we can see that this x minus 1 cancels out with this x minus 1 and 5 goes into 35 7 times so we ended up with 7 times 3x minus 5 and next this x minus 1 cancels out with this x minus 1 and 7 goes into 35 5 times I can write as plus 5 times 5x minus 1 plus and over here same thing this x minus 1 cancels out with this x minus 1 so we got 35 times x minus 4 and on this side when we multiply this 2 times 35 becomes 70 so this is going to become 70 times x minus 1 now let's go ahead and distribute this 7 into this whole thing so that's going to become 21 x minus 35 
likewise plus when we distribute this one that's going to give us 25 x minus 5 likewise we are going to distribute this one as well so that is going to give us plus 35 x minus 140 equals to we are going to distribute over here as well so that's going to give us 70 x minus 70. now we are going to combine the like terms when we combine x uh, variables so that gives us 81 x and when we add and subtract these constants that's going to give us negative 180 equal to 70 x minus 70 let's go ahead and subtract 80 uh, let's subtract 70 x from both sides okay so this thing is gone so we ended up with simply 11 x minus 180 equal to negative 70 let's move this negative 180 on the other side so we simply got 11 x on the left hand side this become negative 70 plus 1 8 0 11 x equals to 110 we want to isolate x let's divide both side by 11 so that means our x value turns out to be 10 so thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 10 and that is our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.